Welcome back to Move It Fix Monday. I'm here with Mike Serbis. Yes, joining sir. me in the Move It Fix garage, I guess we could call it that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I, was at, I was at the Power Monkey uh, Fitness Combo. Yep, we Combo call Clinic. It? The Combo Clinic. Yeah, watching this, and watching this guy teach weightlifting. And I said, we have to make some videos because there's some cool stuff that I want to share with you guys. And so in this video, we're going to talk about the wrist position in an overhead squat and in a snatch and pretty why, much any, any overhead position any overhead for weightlifting position yeah. for weightlifting and why you shouldn't lock it in neutral right. and how that messes things up yeah okay so tell me more <laughs> so we'll, we'll talk about it we've, we've got the we've got the Dow um, to give some example and, and show the position but um, what I've seen over the years coaching more and more and more within like the general fitness community is a lot of people are afraid to let their wrist extend when they're overhead um, and we could apply it in a gymnastic sense of if you were going to do a push-up or a handstand, you have to extend your wrist. So when I'm lifting with the barbell, it's actually the same concept. My strongest support position is with full extension overhead. So elbows are locked, shoulders are extended open, and so is my wrist. What I see where like the negative would be is when somebody keeps their wrists locked, the barbell's in front of them. So their compensation is to push their head through real far and then try and squat down. All right, so that gets the bar way past my center. Right now my shoulders are already hurting just trying to hold this. If you look from the front, this is just not a very comfortable, like relaxed support position, which is what I'm looking for. This is like a common thing. Yeah, this is, a this, is, this, is, this, is, this is what I see a lot of. So my correction for somebody is to, first off, pull your head back in line. Second off, extend your wrists and put yourself in a better vertical support position. So now when I look from the front, everything should just be nice and in line. And from here, I can start to develop some more functional strength controlling the bar overhead. Yeah. So like, there's certain joints that get kind of misused mm -hmm. when the wrist isn't extending. Absolutely. So can you go up overhead again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then go to that like position we don't want so, to. Do, yeah, right? so bad position. Wrists locked. Now I need to pull the bar back. So then you're getting all this like head forward motion, which is going to introduce some shearing stress through the, through the neck, mm -hmm. internally rotating in your shoulder joint. And then you can, you can even see how like the front of your humerus is pushing forward, which is going to stress some of the uh, connective tissue, like the passive structures of your shoulder. Mm -hmm. And you might get away with that for a while yeah. until you don't get away with it anymore. Right? <laughs> exactly. and, and that's not something that you want to get to the point where you can't get away with it anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, one common complaint that maybe a lot of you watching this, either had yourself or if you work with people, is these little neck tweaks with Olympic lifting. So you already know what I was gonna do. Because the Absolutely. first time we filmed this video, I didn't turn the microphones on. We got fault. a good run through. <laughs> people will get like, they'll push their head forward, either when they're jerking or snatching, and then they'll get this shooting pain or kind of like radiating pain that they feel like is right on the edge of the shoulder blade. And typically, they try to, that person tries to roll it out because they think mm -hmm. it's a tight muscle. Um, and it feels like unreachable. And a lot of times it's pain that's referred from the neck. Uh, and it could be due to having to push your neck and your head forward so yeah. far, introducing these weird joint stresses, mm -hmm. all because you didn't extend your wrist to lift the weight overhead Absolutely. properly, right? <laughs> and so what seems like this weird muscle tightness or stiffness mm -hmm. can be actually investigated back to- Just how you, you support the bar overhead. You didn't support the bar overhead well. well. Yeah. And so like these, we look for these weird causes when in fact, we just need to watch how people are lifting and making sure they're using their bodies well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and one thing that you've noticed as well is like people think that they're not mobile. Yeah, it, it, we, yeah we were talking about that a lot of times. Everybody assumes, oh, I'm just not very mobile, I can't overhead squat, or my snatch is limited due to mobility. And, and when we go back to this position, the first thing they do is go, yeah, see my shoulders are really tight. So when I overhead squat and they have their head just jammed way through and their shoulders rolled forward, I can't overhead squat like that. Yeah, and that's, um, like, that's excessive yeah, shoulder this is, usage anyway. Yeah, this is putting way too, like much too much on your shoulders, whereas when I just go into that nice extended position overhead, yeah. I don't need an excess amount of shoulder right. range to do a good overhead squat. I need to know how to support the barbell over my body's midline and my center of mass. Yes, awesome. So next time you guys are overhead squatting or you're putting the barbell head push pressing, push jerking, yep. snatching, Finish with it, wrists extended. Yeah, get the wrists extended. <laughs> and especially like if you're coaching people and you see them doing that, check the wrist because you might find that for some reason they're not comfortable loading that and then Absolutely. you can get into some progressions there. So thank you for sharing that. Yeah. If you guys don't follow Mike on Instagram, find him at Mike Service. That's C E 
R B U S. Yes, sir. And uh, make sure to check out Power Monkey because they're doing awesome stuff. Mm -hmm. And if you don't follow the Movement Fix, you can find me at the Movement Fix. We'll see you guys next week. See you guys later.